dealing with some less than ideal weather so uh, I did the online registry or tried to do the online registration for the uh, X2 today and so hopefully that goes through fairly soon but I'm not gonna hold my breath uh, today I'm working on making the plugs for the end of the surf braces or the surf brace rods. I don't know what to call them. Two of them are going to be threaded right hand for 8x1.25. Uh, I said in an earlier video that I'm getting some heim joints or tie rod ends. And two of these will be threaded for left hand thread. So that's what I'm doing now. This is ridiculous. go to 83. Alright, I'm going to do a little something to help the epoxy grip a little better. I'm going to put a few grooves. I already did it to this one off camera, just so the epoxy will have something to grip into. So I'm going to do the same thing to this one now. All right, so we have four of these done. We have two large ones and two small ones. The two large ones are going to be put in the mill and I'm going to try to put a hex head on them so that I can adjust them with a wrench. These will be the ones that sit at the top and they will have right hand threads in them because it will be more intuitive to adjust that way. And then the ones that sit at the bottom or the front of the boat uh, will be threaded for left hand thread and uh, I'm also going to turn down the outside diameter so that it more closely matches the outside diameter of the carbon tube. We're going to drill and tap this out starting with a center drill. I've never threaded a left hand thread before and I won't be able to test it until I get my left hand thread heim joints. Alright, we've got two of these lovely things done in left hand thread. I am now going to drill and tap this out to uh, right hand thread, 8x1.25. And then I'm going to put a bolt in the end of it and tighten it down. And I'm going to use the head of the bolt as an indexer so that I can cut this as a hex because I don't have an indexing head. And I'm hoping that this is going to work. It might not, but... Uh, Guess what people, I just went and checked the mail and I have my tie rod ends or heim joints, whatever you want to call them. So uh, in the middle of working on this project, I got these and uh, yeah, almost finished. So uh, it took me a little bit of friggin around to figure out how to make these without an indexing head uh, but I came up with a pretty decent solution so I'm going to show you guys that now so 
So the overall diameter is 0.987 and the head of a 14 millimeter bolt is 0.545. So we subtract the difference. 442 and then we divide by 2. So we need to remove 221 thousandths to get down to the 14 millimeter wrench size. So now we'll go to the other side. There we go. We've got two sides that a wrench will now fit on. That's a weird wrench, isn't it? And the battery died. Now we're going to take it over to the lathe and uh, touch it up a bit. Alright, I finally finished these up. It took way more work than you could ever imagine unless you've ever machined parts like these with a manual mill and lathe. But uh, yeah, here are the two top right hand bungs or plugs. Here are the two left hand bottom ones. We've got our two left hand ball joints, or tie rod ends, or heim joints, whatever you want to call them. And we've got our top ones, which have a 14 millimeter wrench spot on them. Wrench spot. These will go in one end like this. And then in the other end, we will have these. Just like that. I still have to epoxy these into place, but that's going to be in the next video because I still need to cut these things to length and finish the brackets on the X2. I'm hoping to take the X2 out tomorrow. Uh, we were supposed to do it today, but we had some logistics issues. Hopefully we get to do a test ride soon. With all of that being said, hopefully the next video that you guys see is me test riding the X2 and BJ test riding his XB. He's been doing a bunch of work on it and uh, as you guys know I've been doing lots of work on mine. 
So as you can see in the background here, I have a crane scale, a mini crane scale. I got that for two reasons. Uh, one is that I want to be able to weigh the X2 and the tongue weight of our RV trailer so that I know exactly how much weight I'm putting on the uh, hitch of my truck. And the other reason is I just want to know the weight of the X2 uh, when it's all loaded up and fueled up. Uh, the Jet Ski Brothers have been weighing a few skis recently and uh, it kind of made me think I wish I had a way to weigh my uh, X2 and see how much weight I've removed by adding all these carbon fiber pieces and uh, making the engine shiny. So uh, it's probably somewhere in the negatives now, negative 20 pounds or something like that. But uh, anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.